Okay, I'm going to show you how to draw or sketch a rough um, Fibonacci spiral. So to start off with, we are going to write the Fibonacci sequence at the top of our page to help us um, as we go along drawing our spiral. So we know the Fibonacci sequence starts with one, one, and then we add up the numbers. One plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus two is five, five plus three is eight, eight plus five is 13, and 13 plus eight is 21. And we could keep going forever. So from the Fibonacci sequence, we are now, now gonna build our Fibonacci, Fibonacci spiral. So I have here some grid paper or graph paper, and I have a ruler, and I'm using a pencil, um, because it's easier in case you make a mistake. So the first two numbers in the sequence are one, one. So I'm gonna go down on my graph paper and I'm going to simply um, trace out two squares with a side of one. So I'm just using my ruler so my lines will be nice and straight will help me make my spiral. So to start here, you see we have two squares and they each have a side of one. This is one, this is one, this is one, this is one. And here's our next one, 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 one. And I'm going to start my spiral in here. I'm just gonna go from the edge to the other edge and you just kind of swoop like this. And this is not going to be a perfect Fibonacci spiral. Okay, so now we're gonna go, we've used one and we used one. We're gonna go to our next number in the Fibonacci sequence, which is two. And we are going to make a square with sides of length two. So we're gonna come right here because if we kept drawing, we would want our spiral to go this way. So I'm going to outline the square with sides of two. underneath my squares with sides of one. So you see this has one, two, one, two. Each side is two of this square, which is this Fibonacci number. And so now I'm going to continue my spiral this way. Now if I wanted to keep drawing my spiral, I would need to go this way. So what is my next Fibonacci number? Three. So I'm going to now outline a square with sides of three right here so I can continue my spiral into this next Fibonacci square with sides of three. So now I'm going to go from the corner and I'm just going to do the best I can to make an arc over to the other corner. And now if I wanted to keep going, I would go this way. So what's my next Fibonacci number? It's five. So now we've got to count out a square with sides of five. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna end about right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the interesting thing is this square had side three, this square had sides two. If you add them up, you get five, which is the next Fibonacci number. So, we're going to outline this square and continue our spiral into here. So now our spiral can go from this corner to this corner. And we have our square with sides five. Our next one needs to be sides, a square with sides of eight. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna end right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this, of course, is five plus three, so it's eight. So we are gonna outline this square nicely with our ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you could use a straight edge or a note card. Just something to make it nice and neat. And now our spiral is gonna go from here. We're gonna swoop down to this corner. 
So, our next number is 13. And if we were going to continue our spiral, we would go down here. So let's see if we have enough room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we do not have enough room on our paper. But if we did, we would make our square down to 13. And then we could just keep going and going and going and going and going with this spiral. Because once we got 13, then we would make a square with sides of 21 over here. And then you can make a square with sides of 34. And you could just keep going forever. So this is how you make the beginning of a Fibonacci spiral.